Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. It's Patrick, your recovery pastor. Today we, uh, are, we find ourselves in Matthew 18, verse 10. And uh, we see Jesus teaching um, with the disciples. And he is talking about humility and, uh, and about little children. And while it's not clear... Uh, whether in the rest of these stories that he's speaking about little children or whether he's speaking about new believers in Christ, um, we do know that God values both. And he paints a beautiful picture um, that I'm going to share with you now. So we're in verse 10 in Matthew 18. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who's in heaven. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly, I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So is, it is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that any one of these little ones should perish. You know, we see a picture of a shepherd here with a pasture full of sheep. There's a hundred sheep in his flock, and he's counting these sheep, and he sees, oh my gosh, there's only, there's only 99 sheep here. You know, and frantically, he, he realizes that, that, uh, that he counts them again. He says, oh gosh, I've only got 99. I've got to figure out where this sheep is. And so he goes, and he searches, and he, he spends the rest of the day looking in the wood line, going back where the flock has gone, and backtracking, and, and finally he sees this little lamb bleeding and, ba- and, and, and crying and, and, and doesn't know where, where the rest of his, of his family is. And, and he goes and he scoops this lamb up and he throws it over his shoulder and he walks back to the flock. And he's so grateful because this little lamb that was lost has been found. And you know, that's exactly the way God treats us. You know, sometimes we decide, you know what, I'm going to go over here and do this thing, even though I know that the rest of the flock is here and the rest of the sheep are over here. I, I really feel like I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to go wander, and uh, it's going to be fine. I'll just go back to the flock as soon as I'm finished. And then we turn around, and we realize that we're in way over our heads. And you know, God loves us so much that He goes and searches us out in those moments of desperation, those moments of trouble. And uh, the Bible tells us here that He's not going to abandon us. So God is so happy when he finds that sheep that went astray, that that sheep comes back to the flock that, that, uh, that was lost. Guys, God loves you. He pursues you. He cares about you. And he's not going to let you wander too far from the flock without bringing you back in to his loving arms. I hope you have, uh, you're encouraged today by this. I hope, you, uh, I hope you're connected to the flock here at Calvary. If you're not, um, I hope you get connected. Um, We love each of you, and I hope you have a great day.